I will now invite a presentation of item four on the proxy card regarding the stockholder proposal for a report on lobbying. I understand Justin Danoff of the National Center for Public Policy Research has submitted a pre-recorded statement for this proposal. I'm Justin Danhoff, General Counsel with the National Center for Public Policy Research. I want to tell you about our proposal. We had two goals in filing this proposal. The first was to block a resolution from the Philadelphia Public Employees Retirement System from making it onto Chevron's proxy statement. The second goal is to encourage the company to stand up for its values and pro-capitalist agenda in the face of attacks from this liberal pension fund and their cohorts. The Philly Pension Fund is part of a broad network of groups that operate under the As You So umbrella. They attempt to use corporations to silence speech and defund advocates of free enterprise. Following the Supreme Court's 2010 Citizens United decision, this network has filed hundreds of resolutions complaining about an alleged lack of transparency and accountability in corporate lobbying. However, such groups never express concern about the billions of corporate dollars that go to fund liberal causes and politicians. Herein lies the hypocrisy of the proposal. This liberal network abhors corporate speech when it is perceived as skewed to the political right, yet it remains silent when speech supports favored leftist causes. While many investors may have been duped in the past, we hope you now understand this network's extremely partisan nature and deceptive tactics. This network complains that corporate relationships with groups such as the U.S. Chamber of Commerce and the American Legislative Exchange Council, among other pro-business organizations, expose Chevron to quote-unquote reputational risk. But considering that this network regularly smears these groups, this is a circular argument devoid of fact. Groups such as the Chamber and ALEC promote a fair economic environment devoid of excessive government regulation and onerous corporate taxation. Such an environment would help not harm Chevron, but that's just what As You So wants, an end to American capitalism by destroying private enterprise. So in future years and on other corporate proxy statements, if you see a proposal from the As You So orbit that seems to beg for transparency and accountability, please vote those down as well. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Danoff. Your Board of Directors recommends a vote against this proposal for the reasons indicated in your Board's response in the proxy statement. As indicated in that response, Chevron exercises its fundamental right and responsibility to participate in the political process and to ensure policymakers have the benefit of our expertise. We lobby ethically, constructively, and in a nonpartisan manner. We agree that transparency and accountability are important. Chevron complies with all reporting and disclosure requirements imposed by the jurisdiction in which we lobby. In fact, our disclosures exceed what is legally required. Chevron's website provides extensive disclosure of our political activity, including a list of corporate-level trade associations with dues over $100,000 and where a portion of the dues may be used for lobbying. This represents 94% of the company's annual trade association expenditures in 2019. Our political activities are subject to thorough review and oversight. The Public Policy Committee reviews the policies, procedures, and expenditures for Chevron's political activities, including political contributions and direct and indirect lobbying. You can read more about the Board's view on this proposal on page 75 of the proxy statement. <laughs> 